He was my best friend. And my brother. One day, he just like went to ride his motorcycle and then he never come back. Sometimes when I think like that I didn't say a goodbye, you know, if I knew I would just say that I love him. He was so brave. I think when he died, I tried to, to take his brave with me. In Brazil, I graduated in law school and I was working as a t attorney over there, but I wasn't like, I wasn't feeling happy. I didn't have this feeling of fulfillment. I started cooking food because I, I need more money to pay the rent. And then this was kind of building a lot, like was growing without any effort. When he passed away, I said, I'm, I don't want to spend one more day of my life doing something that doesn't matter for me. Because tomorrow, I'm not sure if I'll be here, you know. I saw like a magazine with the name of school in New York. And then I said, oh, maybe I should go to New York. <laughs> the New York winter was just like too much. <laughs> like I couldn't handle all the snow and everything. I saw a millennium restaurant. I was Googling like, where What's the best vegan restaurant in California? I saw Millennium and I was like, oh, that that's, looks good. But the first day that I arrived in Millennium, there was a line cook and she was leaving the same day that, that I arrived. And then he said, oh, now we have a spot for you if you want to stay. And then I said, oh, that's, that's good. <laughs> that's kind of coincidence. Or I don't know, it's meant to be. And since then, I'm there. <laughs> My favorite thing is about the cre creativity that I prove there because Chef is, is pretty open for that. Like every time that I have new ideas, I talk with him and we make new dishes. So it's very exhausting. It's just stay up entire day like up your feet and just working sometimes I don't have time even for bathroom the day that I asked the chef if I could stay longer and he said yes like I would love to keep you here and then I said oh but I have to have the visa thing is not that easy and he was like I'm, help, ha I'm happy to help you, just let me know what I need to do. And I think that was like what makes me feel like I'm in the, in the right place, you know. There was a friend that one, one day she told me that I was kind of phoenix, that it was like rebirth from the axis. I had to start over again after my brother passed away. After he passed away, my house burned down. Yeah. I was putting a candle for him because it was one month of his, his death. And I went to take a shower and then when I got off the bathroom, I just saw the flame and I was like, fuck. It was kind of horror, horror movie after. And because like the ceiling fell apart and it was just like terrifying. 
and then I just get out, put a clothes and I get out of the apartment and everything was just burned down and I think after, after passing that, I, was, I saw there was the kind of uh, happening that make, made me like move and just like restart again because I lived with him in this house. So it was kind of too much, you know, seeing his bedroom and, and I think it was just a sign for like, just go. All my neighbors was, oh, we're gonna lose everything. You're just gonna lose the money. And I was like, gosh, I'm alive. That's what matters now. I really want to travel around the world and got to know all the foods and all these cultures and meet people from different cultures and languages. I think that's the most incredible thing. One day I will come back to Brazil and open my restaurant with the foods all over the world that I learned. So I want to grow all my vegetables and cook the vegetables and do it like farm to table. Like very simple food, you know, but really tasty. And I think that's the hardest thing to do, like making simple food taste really good. I mean, I wasn't expecting that it was, I would feel so good here without having any family here. I think it's because I'm following my dreams and I'm doing what I really like. When my brother passed away, it was like, I'm gonna follow my dreams. <laughs>